Hello everyone and welcome back to another video about subnetting. In this video, you will try to find a solution for questions like uh, the total hosts and total subnets you can create from a given IP address. Uh, as usual, I would like to go uh, quickly through the subnet mask formats. As you know, we have three formats, CIDR, which is written like this, and sometimes they call it shorthand. And uh, the other one, which is very common to everybody, is decimal 25500, and the binary, which is, which is written like this. Each IP address or subnet mask consists of four octets. Each octet consists of uh, eight bits. And if the bits are on, then you have to calculate the number because each bit represents a number. The first one is represent number one, and the last one is 128, and the rest between will be like this. So, for example, now eight bits are on, so we get the submission of this number 255, and the side will be eight. The eight means we have eight bits are on. Uh, for example, if I a switch on two bits from the second octet like this uh, it means we have 128 and 64 are on so uh, we get the submission as 192 and we put the 92 in the decimal format like this and uh, the cider need to be changed also because we have eight bits and two bits are on so in total we have 10 bits in the CIDR format. So this is the way how you convert between the subnet mask formats, which is very essential to answering any subnetting question. Uh, it is important to know is IP address classes. And in order to identify which classes you have or your IP address uh, belong which IP address, we will work on the first object as I mentioned before. Uh, each IP address consists of four octets. And for identifying the IP address classes, we will work on the first uh, octet. So uh, according to this, uh, the common classes we have class A, class B, class C, E, and D. But the most used or the most common classes are A, B, and C. So as I said, we will work on the first octet to determine or identify the uh, classes. So if the first class is 1 or uh, 127 or a number between these, uh, it means your uh, IP address is belong uh, uh, class A. And for class B is 128 to 191. Any number between these numbers it will be considered as a class B and the last one class C will start with 192 and end up with 223. So after you identified uh, your uh, IP address belong uh, which classes, uh, the most important thing you will know from this is uh, the rest of the octet will be allocated for the network segment or the host segment. For example, let me write this. So uh, for the class A, only the first octet will be allocated for the network segment and the rest will be for the host. And in class B, the first and second network, uh, second octet will be allocated for network, third and fourth octet will be allocated for host. If you didn't understand this, you will get it from the, uh, the example which we explain it in the next slide. So for the uh, class C, we have uh, first, second, third octet will be allocated for network. Only the fourth octet will be allocated for host. That's, that's why class C, you will get uh, a lowest or smallest number of uh, IP address for the hosts. So let's go through uh, the example and answer the question how you find the total number of hosts and total number of subnets. Uh, for example, we have an IP address here and a subject mask like this. So let's see the steps and how we find out uh, what is la the largest number of subnets and the largest number of uh, hosts you can get from this IP address when the subnet mask is this. So the, the first step is, in the, as I mentioned in the previous slide, is 
which uh, classes is your IP address is belong to because our IP is start with 192 this means we have class C so uh, because uh, the first octet is 192 so we have class C which means we have one octet for the host and let's see why it is important to know uh, uh, this octet is for host so the second step we convert the subnet mask we have to a binary so we have to five 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 two four zero and uh, the way is written like this because uh, 255 all octet all bits needs to be on and the second and the third but for the last one 240 in order to get this number four bits needs to be on <coughs> why because 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus plus 16 we, we get 240 so now our uh, uh, subnet mask is ready to be worked on it and because we have class C so we have uh, one octet for host so this means this octet uh, our focus will be on this octet all workers will be on this octet and the rest will be ignored so let's see how we work on the last octet and how we find the large or the most uh, or the or the subnet the largest number or subnet we can create from this IP address so uh, what we do uh, we have uh, like a equation uh, total number of subnets is equal to power number of subnet the total number of hosts is equal to two power of number of hosts where we get this subnet and host we get it from the last octet because we have class c as i mentioned if we have class b we will take the third octet into our consideration but because we have class c all work is will be done on this and uh, as you see we have four octet on and uh, four octet are off so the octets which uh, the bits which is on uh, is the number of subnet and the bits which are off is the number of hosts so uh, we can write the, the equation like this 2 power 4 because 4 uh, bits are on we get uh, 16 as a total number of subnet and for the host is the same 2 power 4 we get 16 hosts per host uh, per subnet so this is the answer of our question the most important thing is you determine the ip address classes after that you change it to binary and from the binary uh, if the bits are on uh, it will be considered for the number of subnet and the binary which are off will be considered as the number of hosts hosts so let's go to the next example uh, we have IP address 172.2.0.1.0.0 and the subnet, subnet mask is like this. So let's get started. Uh, as I said, the first step which IP address is, which IP classes is belong to because we have 172, so we have class B. So uh, when we have class B, so we have two octet for hosts, so we work on these two octet and the second step is converting our subnet mask to a binary uh, as i said if all bits are on we have 255 255 and the third one we have uh, five bits on why because we have 248 if we calculate these numbers we get 248 and the rest are zero so as i mentioned uh, because we have class a, B, so our focus will be on this two octet. So uh, this two octet will be taken to the consideration, and uh, we get the previous equation like this: total number of subnet is equals two power number of subnet and number of hosts is two power of the number of hosts. So uh, because our consideration or focus on the two octet. Uh, as you see we have four uh, five bits are on and the rest are zero as you see we have only five 
uh, bits are on from these two octet and we work on these two octet and in the previous example we worked only on this octet but this time because we have class b we work on both of them and if you have class a you will work on this one this one this one so uh, and the number of uh, hostess will be this octet plus this three so these all be considered as a number of hosts so the equation will be like this uh, 2 power 5 as i said because we have 5 bits are on and 2 power 11 because we have 8 plus 3 means we have 11 and we get 2048 hosts per subnet so this is how you find the total number of subnet or network from an IP address and the total number of hosts per each subnet. I hope this uh, explanation was clear for everybody. And if you like it, uh, hit a like. And if you like other to see this video, please share it. And uh, if you have any question or anything you didn't uh, get it from this video, please drop me a comment. I will try to answer you as soon as possible. See you in my next video. Goodbye.